Hello and welcome to the second video installment of Introspect Technologies i3C series. Picking up where we left off, I will show you how to view the protocol analyzer trace of the i3C bus using Introspect Technologies SV4E solution. The i3C data capture component represents the protocol analyzer trace. This is used to show us what happens on the i3C bus. If we uncomment this call and run the script again, we get automatically taken to the results tab once the procedure finishes running. If we look at the log tab, we observe the same print statements from the last video, showing that the procedure hasn't changed. Going back to the results tab, we can open the protocol analyzer trace by double-clicking the icon. There are three tabs in the pop-up data capture window, Phi, I3C states, and messages. In the Phi tab, you have access to the Phi level states. In the I3C states tab, you can view the captured I3C states, and in the Messages tab, you can see the messages of the capture trace on the bus. The only operation that was done was the DAA on the bus. If we click on the hyperlink to move to the state transitions, the blue highlighted rows represent the DAA operation. The master did a broadcast, assigned the DAA, then read the slave provisional ID in these registers. This is defined on your slave, but in my case, since my slave is defined in my GUI, we have a software interface for it, which we can see here. If I change the provisional ID of the slave in its properties, I can prove to you that the bus is interoperating. I am now assigning the provisional ID for the slave under test to 001. Next, I shall ask the master, the SV4E, to interrogate it and prove to you that it was able to read the changed provisional ID. Running the script again, we can open the data capture, navigate to the DAA message, look at the protocol analyzer trace, and look for the slave info registers. We can see 10 zeros and then a 01, which is what I programmed into my slave device. This was a quick illustration of how to assign addresses and to distinguish between actions that are happening inside the bus versus actions that are happening in software. What is happening in the I3C bus is always what the protocol analyzer shows us in the data capture. The software operations I did to interrogate the slave device is a software way of checking whether the slave got assigned an address. For your I3C slave, you would change this command with your own device. For example, by querying it through JTAG. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we will query the I3C slave to get its provisional ID using a direct read common command code. Stay tuned.